Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to transfer money from your MetaMask to your KuCoin so you can trade it around on KuCoin and do whatever you want to do with it. So let's get started. First you're going to want to load up KuCoin.com. You're going to want to log in. After you're logged in, go ahead and go down here to main account because your money is going to go to the main account. And over here you're going to search ETH. So I'm going to transfer Ethereum. It'll pop up. So over here, you're going to hit deposit. Go to deposit. This is my main account, Ethereum. Whenever you're transferring any cryptocurrency, you must send it to a wallet that can hold that cryptocurrency. So you cannot send Binance coin to an Ethereum wallet. It won't work. So you have to make sure whatever you're sending, or even Polk or uh, anything, XLM, you have to send it to that type of wallet. So we're sending Ethereum from my MetaMask Ethereum to my KuCoin Ethereum. Therefore, I'm on my KuCoin Ethereum wallet. So you can also click this and change to any one of these things if you want. I'm going to keep it on Ethereum. Down here, you're going to want to copy this just like that. Click that little two page button. That means copy. Go over here, click on MetaMask because you already watched my video and you already pinned it to the top and over here you're gonna hit send I already saved it right here okay but if you didn't save it you would hit send and you would type it in paste and there it is so it brought up my KuCoin ETH because it's the wallet that I want to send it to right here you're gonna type the amount I'm gonna do point two point zero two fifty bucks over here is the fee okay so if you do too little of a fee your transaction will get lost and you could gunk up your account and it'll be hard for you to make transactions for a little while and it could fail and that would charge you so I always click it like three or four times and I put the gas fee somewhere higher than what it started at because that way you can almost guarantee that your transaction will go through then you just click next it'll bring you up to the next screen it's going to confirm that you want to send this and then when you pay gas it's six dollars and sixty four cents to pay it then you just click confirm once you have confirmed the transaction you can go ahead and go to your main account and you can notice that in your deposit and withdrawal history it'll be right there there's point zero two so that's how easy it is. Uh, it takes about five minutes to transfer Ethereum to KuCoin because it has to go through the Ethereum network and then on the KuCoin network. And once it's there, you can then start trading for other currencies. So you can go to buy crypto or trade, spot trading. And this is the crypto or KuCoin crypto selling. And today I do want to buy some BNB. So what I'm going to do is click on BNB for USDT and now I can buy using my password down here I'm not gonna do that on KuCoin today but that's how you would end up starting to trade other cryptocurrencies well there you have it I hope this video brought some uh, good information to you looks like the market is in a little bit of a free fall don't get scared hold on to your cryptos and just be along for the roller coaster ride it's gonna be really 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 crazy coming up soon I'm hoping it bounce back I mean this right here looks like the resistance so uh, at 230 bucks, 250 bucks, it could be the new floor. So let's hope. All right, thanks for watching today's video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe and let your friends know that the cryptocurrency hype is here and they don't want to miss out. See you next time.